Code and Soft and My Game Line presents this game, which is called Super Pixel Night. Yes. So I tried to record this game when it was first on the new page, the Newgrounds front page, last week about this time, actually. I thought I recorded it, but I didn't. It is said that in times of great peril, a hero will arise to save the lands and restore peace to the kingdom. So that's what we're going to do in Worm Forest. We're going to press space to continue. Anyway, I'm surprised it's still on the front page of Newgrounds if you go, like, right now. Those are the controls. I already know them, of course. I like to use the arrows and the, the Z, X, and C buttons. I like that it gives you an option of controls, though. You can use the WADs, keys, and whatever. And it, I find it sort of funny, it tells you, it tells you the controls, then it tells you to pause, which says, hey, show controls. And then once you get over here, hey, press H to check the controls a third time. Plus you'd have, have to already use the controls a little bit to even get to that point. That red thing is a health vial, which I can't use right now. And the weapon, you know, the weapon, we get a weapon here and we get a magic. The magic for this is really useless, in my opinion. Ow. Uh, the dagger is just the basic weapon. It's... I guess it's actually fairly good. The only thing that really matters about weapons in this game is the speed at which they fire. So, we're going to find out really quick which weapons suck and which ones are good. Because... Some weapons fire multiple shots, but even if you hit an enemy with more than one hit, it doesn't actually hurt them. They have some invincibility frames, which render that useless. Worm Forest 2. Press space to continue. Crouch to pick up a weapon. Hammer. Hammers are pretty good, actually. The weapons you get are totally random, by the way. Oh, and... That's nice. The speed you're moving at when you fire them affects the... Hammers. Hammers are pretty good, really. The trajectory they move is a little awkward, depending on... It's great for a flat surface, but... If you need to fire straight, they don't work on, like, platforms like here. But they're pretty fun to use, really. And their magic is... I'll show you when there's... Here. Boom. It's okay. Most of the mana attacks aren't very good, honestly. Yay. Ant. Kill the ant. Kill it. I like that the different enemies have different, like, blood pixels when they die. Like, mammals are red-blooded, and the slimes are, like, green. And this, if this platform isn't, like, I'll show you. If you don't know this platform is there, you might just jump into this pit and think it's a blind jump. And that will hurt you. This game does that quite a bit. You won't always know there's a platform there. Right here is another spot. You might just jump gung-ho on, but nope, there's a platform. If the platform's moved a bit faster, it might be more apparent that, hey, don't jump in this pit. Or if there's like a little sign that notes, notifies you, hey, platform. But no, you might jump into a pit your first time through. It's not a big deal, though. Chest. Oh, it's just that. I don't want that at all. Ever. I always feel obliged to waste mana every time I get a mana up thingy. It's just like, why not? May as well. Ah! Ouch. Stupid face thingy. Stop vomiting arrows at me. Stop it! It's disgusting. It's unsanitary. Oh, that blue thing down there is a... Uh, it's a permanent mana upgrade, basically. Now I have four. Used to have three. At first, I didn't know. I almost jumped into that pit. At first, I didn't know what those did. I thought they just fully refilled your health and stuff. But turns out they're permanent upgrades. And some of them are probably hidden and stuff. Die. Oh, that's the great thing about ants, is that if you're not crouching, you can't hit them, generally. Also, the knockback in this game is pretty weak. Hey, I thought I killed you. Lots of ants! Kill them all! The game likes to swarm you with tons of enemies at the end of a level. That's why, at the end of a level, it's really basically better to just crash through enemies than to try fighting them. You just take more damage that way, depending. Oh, crap. Land right on the spikes. Hey! Ow. Bats. This is something very annoying. As you note here, this is my best score from before. My score is nothing. That's a terrible score. 
And I hit continue. Hey, let's continue the game. Nope! Hall of Fame. I don't care. Shut up. Back to the menu screen. The level screen for no reason. Now we get to continue. When I press a button that says continue, I generally do think, hey, I'm gonna go continue the game now. But no. How many people even submit their scores in games like this? Especially when it's not your high score. There should just be a separate button for submitting your high score, because I don't think most people even care about it. I certainly don't. So it's particularly annoying. Plus, just have a separate button for it. Just keep my high score and ask me later if I want to submit it, like when I beat the game or something. That, I don't think you can get over there. Also, these dudes take a lot of hits. Oh, and the hammer's pretty fast, so the knockback lets you keep doing damage. Not all weapon that's not the case with all weapons. Ooh, the bow. The bow's okay. It's pretty slow. But it shoots, as you can see, only one of the arrows will hit one enemy. You can't double hit. Which is sort of odd. The enemies get invincibility frames. That's all that means, really. That, the flame... Bah! No! Stupid thing? I thought you died. The explosive arrow honestly works pretty awkwardly. It it does damage initially, like one damage, and then the explosion, like half a second later, then does damage. Like that. See? That is so weird. It should just do that damage all at once. And I just basically got killed before, I think, partly because of that. And see, sometimes the, the explosion knocks them out of range of taking damage. So it's just really annoying. It's it's just sort of a general problem that none of the magic spells are really that good. The arrow is okay though because of the they can hit bats really well. It's really what it excels at. And I'm actually not sure if I'll be able to show you all of the weapons in the game because I just noticed while doing a quick run through of this that there is actually a weapon that I never found my first playthrough of the entire game. Um, I'll just show you weapons as I come. And this is sort of weird. You think, oh, that's a pit. What do I do here? Well, it's blind jump time, and look! You dump, don't jump straight down. You have to go over there to the right. Uh, the combination of blind jumps with random directions that you need to fall, that's really annoying. Die. As you can see, the knockback isn't always enough to kill things before they reach you. Stupid gargoyle. The gargoyles will become the bane of your existence if you play this game. They're just annoying. Weapon, please be... oh. Yeah, the crossbow. This I never saw my first time through. It shoots two times, even though, as I said before, they both can't hit the same enemy. It just gives you a little bit of penetration power, I guess, if you want to hit more than one enemy in a row. And the those three corn dogs up there are your magic attack. They do that. Generally isn't very useful unless there's stuff directly above you. The magic... Yeah, the magic's just not very good. There's one in particular attack that... It has some wind-up, and it looks like it should be kind of badass, but it just does one damage, just like everything else in the game, basically. And in that, you might think, oh, I should jump on that pit. I don't think I've ever done that, but... It's not entirely apparent that you're supposed to actually get over here because of those spikes. Anyway, why am I dawdling? As you can see, yeah, as you can see, just crashing through those enemies would have been a lot better. There's no point to risking that. Unless you really wanted the score that badly, but I'm not sure, like, anyone does. But maybe, like, everyone in the world's freaking gaga for high scores and it's just me. I know that's not the case, but maybe some of you do care. Another blind jump that happens to be a platform thingy. Bats! Raw. And don't fall all the way down. No, Mr. Ogre thingy. Or orc, or whatever the hell you are. Is there a difference between ogres and orcs? I have no idea. Maybe they're trolls. Those are all basically the same thing in my mental vocabulary. I know they're called different things and different things. That's about it. Anyway, there's another weapon, if I recall correctly, right around here. Nah, bat! Bats are not weapons. Unless you're Batman. 
But if you're Batman, everything is a weapon. Oh, God. Wait a second. Also, I seem to have died. You scored something. I don't care. Worm Forest. Worm Forest boss. It's the slime thing. This is the end of the level. We win. No. Okay, you already saw this part, though. So that joke doesn't work anymore. But yeah, it's sort of weird that it says it's the boss, and it's it's just another level at the first, at the beginning. Ah! I'm never quite sure when things are gonna die. A uh, little little health bars would be nice. Like if enemies are consistent; they always have the same health. So if you watch, you can know when they're gonna die. But things like trolls that take more hits are sometimes annoying. Also, that icon is just. Those are corn dogs. I'm sorry. Oh, look how much damage that did to that troll. Okay, it does seem to do more damage, more than one damage, but that magic is still useless, and I hate it. Fortunately, before we reach the boss, we are going to get weapons right now. Axes, axes. You, whoa, you can throw this pretty fast. I didn't know they went that fast. But axes have a terrible arc. But let's just use these. I forgot these are this fast. And they have... Ha! <laughs> that is awesome! I didn't know those balls went on the trampoline. That's so pointless, but so awesome. I love it. I guess the axe must be pretty good, since it's so fast, but... It goes in that awkward Castlevania arc. That's awkward and stuff. Also, that <laughs> magic attack owns this boss. Wow, I don't think he has any... No, he... He can't have any, uh, invincibility frames. All hail to the Wyvern Slayer! While well, the Slavians chill at you, your suspicion grows that the evil worm was the top of this menace. That really hurt my voice, and I changed voices in the middle of that. The top of this menace doesn't really make much sense. I think you mean, like, the tip of the iceberg or something? The top of this menace, like, is there a bottom of this menace? Is it, is it a bicurious menace? I don't know. Anyway, next episode, we will be in the cemetery. Yeah. Oh, weird, it hides my mouse. Anyway, next episode. Blah.